Understanding Manipur's complex history when did Kukis reach Manipur and how the past is shaping the state's present. Exploring Manipur's historical complexities. Amid the ongoing demands for scheduled tribe ST, status by the Meta community and the Kukis seeking separate administration in the Manipur Hills, it's crucial to delve into the region's history. There's one past, but many histories, and Manipur exemplifies this complexity. As the state grapples with ethnic violence that began three months ago, its checkered history remains at the forefront. The state is divided into the valley and hill areas, each with its own diverse population. The valley area, known as the Impul Valley, is home to Mete, Mete Pangal, Muslims, Naga, Kuki, various Somi clans, Gurkhas, and 124 linguistic communities from across India. It's the most densely populated part of the state. In contrast, the hill areas are predominantly inhabited by 38 scheduled tribes, including Naga, Kuki, and Zomi categories. Certain sections of Metes, Gurkhas, and others also reside in pockets of the hill districts. Manipur has witnessed ethnic strife over the years, but it has also seen periods of coexistence. Let's delve deeper into Manipur's history. The Royal Chronicles, Kaitharul Kumbaba, trace the history of Manipuri kings from the Ningthuja dynasty back to 33 AD. However, some historians debate whether these kings were based in present-day Manipur or another distant territory. The Mete people are believed to be Tibeto-Burman linguistically and ethnically. The dominant Ningthuja dynasty, one of India's longest ruling dynasties, governed Manipur, following an indigenous faith known as Sanamahism. King Kayamba, in the 15th century, built a Vishnu temple, leading to debates about whether he himself became a Hindu. Brahmins began migrating to Manipur during this period, and by the early 18th century, King Kararangba and his family converted to Hinduism. Maidingu Pamhiba, also known as Garib Naiwas, conquered the Burmese capital and renamed the kingdom Manipur in 1724. Regarding the rule of the Manipur kings over hill areas, historian Tusum Nakong points out that the extent of control varied based on the strength of the ruler. During King Kijemba's reign, the kingdom's boundary extended from the Barak in Assam to Chindwin in Myanmar. Maidingu Pamhiba's rule expanded even further, reaching present-day Myanmar, Kachar, and Tripura. However, it's debated whether their dominance in the hills was long-lasting or required frequent military expeditions. Various communities, including Nagas, Metes, Zomi, and Kuki, have coexisted across Manipur and its border regions. The term Kuki first appeared in colonial writings in 1777 when a tribe attacked British subjects in Chittagong. In Manipur, Kukis were mentioned between 1830 and 1840 by Sir James John Stone, the political agent of Manipur. All communities, including the Metes, Nagas, Zomi, and Kuki, have counterparts in Burma, fostering social, cultural, and political ties. The Manipur Pangal, or Manipuri Muslims, arrived from Silhet in the 17th century and became an integral part of Manipur's society. The distinction between old Kukis and new Kukis emerged. Old Kukis assimilated, while new Kukis arrived after the First Anglo Burmese War. The British, during the early 19th century, settled new Kukis strategically around the Manipur Valley to serve as mercenaries and protect against Naga raids. The British's strategic balancing of tribes led to mixed populations in the hills despite inter tribe rivalries. Recent tensions in Manipur stem not from old Kukis but from the influx of illegal immigrants from Myanmar after 1949. Metes have protested against their ST status removal, while Kukis are concerned about the government's efforts to remove illegal immigrants from reserve forest areas. Manipur, invaded by the Burmese in 1819, sought British help and became a British protectorate state in the 19th century. After India's independence, Manipur merged with India in 1949, formalized by Maharaja Buddhakandra's accession treaty in Shillong. Even during independence, debates arose regarding the inclusion of Metes in the list of scheduled tribes. 
Manipur's history is a tapestry of kings, conquests, and communities. Recent ethnic clashes underline the complexities of this diversity. Understanding this historical context is vital for a lasting solution. Stay tuned for more insights into Manipur's intricate past and its impact on the present.